Hello, and welcome to Velodyne LiDAR's virtual CES 2022 experience. I am Jane Maynard, Velodyne LiDAR's Senior Manager of Communications. With our company's commitment to safety paramount, Velodyne made the decision to not participate in person at CES 2022 due to the surge of COVID-19 infection rates. We want to thank everyone for their flexibility and extend our well wishes of health and safety to all in the new year. In lieu of our in-person booth experience, we are providing our partners presentations in a virtual format here on Velodyne LiDAR's YouTube channel. I am happy to introduce you to Exxon Technologies. Exxon has pioneered autonomous aerial robot systems for complex GPS denied environments. The company's full stack solution enables flexible deployment of single or multiple robots that can intelligently navigate and dynamically adapt to complex environments in real time. Jason Jarenik, Chief Technology Officer for Exxon Technologies, will now present to us, speaking about their platform agnostic software, Exxon AI, and more about Exxon solutions that utilize Velodyne's LiDAR technology. Thank you, Jason. I'd like to start by thanking Velodyne for kindly allowing our company, Exxon Technologies, to share the stage at CES 2022. It is great to be here, and I'm excited to tell everyone about our company and the technologies that we have developed and fielded over the past few years. My name is Jason Zarenik, and I'm Chief Technology Officer at Exxon Technologies, and I'll be speaking today about our platform agnostic software framework, Exxon AI which provides autonomy capabilities to a myriad of aerial and soon ground vehicles. To start, our company is a spin-off of the world-renowned General Robotics Automation Sensing and Perception Laboratory at the University of Pennsylvania. And we are based in Philadelphia with offices also in Sudbury, Canada. Our charter, simply put, is to commercialize technology stemming from the lab that enable omni-platform operations and the proverbial dark, dirty, and dangerous environments, all without GPS. Many industries are struggling to harness the data they need to make better decisions. As you'd expect, the source of this problem is that rapid real-world data capture is an extremely challenging task. However, if you look at current trends in traditionally analog industries, the problem can be boiled down to two key elements. First, the data of interest is simply inaccessible or impossible to reach. And when it is available, the processes for collecting it are extremely inefficient. This slide illustrates a number of industrial inspection tasks ranging from subsea ship haul inspection to high altitude cell tower maintenance. All are manual processes that are expensive and quite frankly, very dangerous if not done carefully and precisely. Even then, there are no guarantees. At Exxon, our goal is to eliminate the inefficiencies and dangers in this process, and in doing so, save lives by leveraging two foundational pieces of technology. First is our high-level autonomous vehicle stack. And second is our real-time and offline mapping pipelines. The former enables safe, autonomous, truly human out-of-the-loop operation beyond line of sight in GPS-denied environments. The latter enables survey-grade geospatial mapping using a technology called Simultaneous Localization and Mapping, or SLAM. SLAM enables our autonomous vehicle systems to localize both themselves as well as build a map which can be presented with semantic overlays. I will touch upon each of these technologies at various points throughout the presentation, but first it is important to establish a definition of autonomy. As it turns out, the term autonomy is heavily abused, and for these purposes, we recently proposed a framework for it in the context of aerial systems, where we have our roots. Using the Society of Automotive Engineers Index for Autonomous Driving as a guideline, we mapped out a similar index for aerial systems. For the purpose of this conversation, each autonomy level can be boiled down to what you see here in this diagram. To go through all of them in great detail is beyond uh, the scope of the presentation, 
But what I would like to focus on is basically what's called level three and level four autonomy. With what we call AL3, a novice operator specifies sparse waypoints in a map that the vehicle follows prescriptively, avoiding collisions during flight. With an AL4 system, the novice operator can task high-level missions such as defining an area of interest for exploration, and the vehicle navigates fully autonomously on its own in limited environments. One thing to note is that the difference in the various levels of level four is really uh, a graduation between the levels of sophistication of onboard perception and decision making. Looking at this graph and the current technologies available on the market, you'll find that most fielded aerial autonomy maxes out at level three. For instance, your commercial off the shelf GPS enabled DJI with waypoint following and sense and avoid falls in this category. Achieving this level has generally required external infrastructure such as GPS, persistent communications, or extensive prior knowledge with only a few notable exceptions. That being said, we believe the best way to understand what autonomy level four actually means is through showing it. At its heart, Exxon is a software company, and there are a number of key elements that go into making an AL4 level autonomy stack. This slide showcases the capabilities of the Exxon AI system that makes all of it possible. Highlighting the left column, the system has been designed from the ground up to support operator free operation where mission tasking only happens prior to launch. It is omni platform in the sense that the system is platform agnostic. We interface with platforms at the lowest level, issuing what you can think of as virtual joystick commands. And to date, we've flown on a dozen aerial systems and have even had portions of the Exxon AI stack operating on UGVs as well. The stack is lightweight enough that it can exist on standard commercial off-the-shelf hardware, including both x86 as well as ARM-based compute stacks. It is mission-driven operation where the user can specify a sequence of sparse objectives or even a volume of exploration. Moving over to the right column, it is infrastructure free and does not require GPS, fiducials, communications, or even prior maps. It is fundamentally designed by virtue of all of these capabilities to operate beyond line of sight. That includes both communications range as well as visual line of sight. Finally, it produces survey grade data that can be leveraged for a multitude of purposes. All of these features make the system well positioned for providing an industrial autonomy solution. Currently, we envision this technology being useful in a number of industry verticals, some of which are listed here. As it is intractable to cover each of these verticals in great depth, I will briefly go over a few starting with mining automation, which is where we initially got our start. I would then briefly touch upon government ISR or intelligence surveillance and reconnaissance before discussing construction. First, looking at mining automation, it makes sense to introduce the first instantiation of an autonomous vehicle powered by Exxon AI called the Exxon Arrow. This is currently what mining surveyors are using around the world to map subterranean mine cavities so they can compute metrics such as georeference volumes and other quantities that capture the accuracy of ore extraction. 
Powered by XNAI, the XNAI was fully autonomous using a gimbaled Velodyne puck light to provide 100 times more data than current state-of-the-art solutions. It is the workhorse of our sensing suite and is used to provide near spherical coverage around the vehicle to enable collision avoidance and survey grade mapping. All computation is handled by an Intel Nook on board, which is a small form factor media PC that runs the stack. And finally, we equipped the system with 4K cameras and active lighting for capturing high resolution bird's eye view of targeted regions of interest. As you can imagine, this is quite a complex system. However, we have exposed its capabilities to end users through an intuitive interface called X in View. Now what I'd like to do is share with you uh, our most recent video, which summarizes what X and AI uh, is capable of doing. Uh, we assembled as a proof of concept with our partner, Sandvik. Autonomous environment modeling is one of the key technologies for future of unmanned mining. The Sandvik Exxon inspection concept is an autonomous mapping robot. It can operate in cooperation with autonomous machines without stopping production. When a person in the mine, for whatever reason, wants an area surveyed, he can indicate that on the Optimine 3D visual screens and order a survey of the area. The machine can autonomously start the mission at a time that's convenient for production and doesn't cause any interruptions. When the inspection vehicle can't drive any further or survey the area on wheels, it can deploy its autonomous drone companion and command it to explore a volume of interest. When the survey mission is complete, the drone lands back on the inspection vehicle and they both return together to the charging station to wait for the next mission. The data from the inspection vehicle, the drone and mining machines is automatically uploaded to the Sandvik data management server, which is part of the Optimine suite. The server processes all incoming data automatically and georeferences it to existing data in the server, using the survey team's data as anchors and ground truth for the new data. It automatically merges all the, all the data together into an up-to-date mine model of the entire mine. In addition to merging and cleaning the data, the system can be set up to run automated analysis on it. For example, to automatically provide change detection, shrinkage detection, road condition, excavation quality or tunnel advance reports. Knowledge is power. Being able to access a digital replica of, of the environment without going there means better planning, increased safety and less production stops. The power of X and AI and the X and Arrow really is highlighted by how easy it makes data collection. With our current solution, a single surveyor can unpack our arrow system from the case, power it up, use a ruggedized tablet interface, command a mission, have the drone collect the data, and export the data and pack up all in under 20 minutes. That is an order of magnitude reduction in time, and even more so in cost, and that it only requires a single person. The best way to appreciate this is by taking a look at a real world example of what our system does and how quickly it can be deployed. Rupert Resources is a mining company based in Northern Finland and they had a challenge. They needed to map more than 30 such cavities in just three days. To support their effort, we sent a small team with one robot to demonstrate just how quickly our technology can be used to generate high resolution maps. The video you see on the right is one of the more challenging scenarios encountered during that trip in which an X and Air are powered by our software stack encounters a narrow corridor safely navigates through it before entering a cavity that is well beyond visual line of sight or communication range of the operator.
Over the course of those three days, we conducted 81 total autonomous flights. We were in the air for just over 2.8 hours. If you were to total the distance traveled in flight, it was just about 3.6 miles. And the longest flight executed was just over 200 meters. In addition to autonomous cavity monitoring for mining automation, we also believe XNAI has potential in the government space for both first response and ISR applications. To demonstrate this capability, we teamed up with Ascent Aero Systems to outfit their spirit platform, which leverages a coaxial propulsion system with our modular XNAI autonomy payload. We demonstrated the system in a mock ISR mission. This video showcases the successful integration. The most versatile, durable UAV has a new modular payload, Exxon AI, for autonomous navigation and mapping. No pilot, no GPS, no problem. Set an area of interest, focus on the mission, or analyze critical data in real time, all while Exxon AI explores and avoids obstacles autonomously. Indoor, outdoor, GPS denied. High precision, unknown environments. Secure encryption. Exxon AI and Ascent Aero Systems. Modular autonomy for mission critical data. Additionally, we are actively exploring the use of Exxon AI to enable autonomy for industry standard platforms such as the Boston Dynamic Spot. In this context, we are interested in using SPOT to provide an additional modality of locomotion for mapping multi-floor structures during their active construction. These high-resolution maps could then be used as inputs into a process that compares actual progress against planned progress. In a recent proof of concept, we equipped SPOT with our SLAM engine and had it walk over one kilometer around the Boston Dynamics campus. This video highlights those results. Shifting gears slightly, I also wanted to touch upon the Exit Pack, which is our handheld mapping system for real-time reality capture, and introduce one of our recently released features. For those unfamiliar, the Exit Pack leverages the same 3D SLAM pipeline as the Exit Arrow, except in a portable form that enables it to be attached to any number of vehicles. In addition to featuring the Velodyne Puck Lite 3D LiDAR, the system now includes a pair of hemispherical, high-resolution, visible spectrum cameras for real-time draping of color information over point clouds. We believe this capability will be useful in a number of contexts, including all the use cases we discussed thus far. You can see the rich color quality you get from the system. The image in the lower left looks like a picture, but it's actually a point cloud of a mural near our office. Here you also see some other representative results from the system that were all generated in real time. 